So today we're talking about something really fun. No, it's kind of serious. So um, one thing I wanted to tell you, I've actually been wanting to talk about this for a while, but it's kind of hard to put it in a post. So, and this is a hard topic in general. And I just told Wendy's eating husband I was gonna say this before the camera, you kind of, you know, give me the eyes. That it's intense and it is. So if you're not ready for intensity, you should go now. Otherwise stay, okay? So, um, one thing that my mom told me as a kid, maybe more in my high school years, especially more after she separated from my stepdad, and particularly a lot, this was said a lot when she was with the Coors Light Drinker, um, she said this specific phrase to me so often that I believed it about myself that it was true and I still struggle with believing it. I have to fight it. Even in my everyday life now, I have to fight it to say that it's not true. And so I'm gonna share the phrase with you, but it's violent. Um, I want you to know too that this kind of stuff is hard for my mom, even when I write about her on my blog and now I'm talking about her in a video. And I love my mom so much, I forgive her. I wouldn't be the way I am today without her and I think that everything that's happened to me helps me to help help other people heal and so just know that I, I love her and I forgive her and um, I have no hard feelings towards her right now about what I'm going to to share with you. We're all broken and we're all trying to do a really good job at life and my mom was doing her best. Okay, so just know that now. So one of the things that my mom told me when she was mad, she called me a certain thing. And this is what I tell you now. So I don't like to curse and I don't want the actual curse words on my video. So you're just gonna get it the way I would say it in real life. So she would call me, you effin smart A-S-S -S, lazy B. When I say B, you know that five letter word there. So that was a phrase that was repeated to me a lot in anger, in rage, over and over and over. So as a consequence, the way I see myself is that as a, I'm a lazy slacker. So that's what I have believed about myself as a result. And it goes even further than that. It doesn't so here's where we stop and zoom out. So not everyone has had a mom that says stuff that's not true about the child in anger. But if you did, if your mom did say something to you that was violent and, and not true and lies, if your mom said something like that to you, you the first thing we do is identify what she said and what we've believed about herself as a result. So as a result of what she said, I believed that I was a slacker for almost all of my life. I still fight that belief now. I still struggle with thinking that I'm a slacker, um, but that is the consequence of it. The consequence is that I believe I'm a slacker. So that's step one. You need to identify, so you need to identify what she said to you. It's gonna be a specific thing, very specific phrase, and then Step two, you need to identify what you have believed about yourself in response to what she said. So she said that, she called me the FN smart, A-S-S, lazy, B-I-T-C-H, okay? Um, that's what she said. As a result, I believe that I'm a lazy slacker. So then not only do we believe this about this, you know, we turn the lie onto herself, but we really get tripped up with this, where I've really got tripped up with this. I'm not saying you are, because the Wendy's eating husband doesn't have this problem. So where I get tripped up with it is that I think the whole world thinks this about me, what my mom said. I think everyone thinks that. So that is my fear whenever I get tripped up, whenever I struggle, whenever I get stuck, a lot of times I think 
that other people are viewing, seeing, and thinking about me the way my mom did in that same tone. She's a FN, smart, ASS, lazy, B-I-T-C-H. And so then I get, get into this mindset of how do I prove that I'm not? I'm not this. How do I work to make it better? How do I fix this? So the truth is that that we really, really have to hold on to if you have something dysfunctional that was said to you. It, we have to know and trust, even though it is so hard to trust this, it is very hard to trust this, that other people don't see you the way your mom did. And so that is what you need to believe. And so you don't just need to believe it, you need to tell yourself this and you need to write it down and you need to say it out loud in your first person terms. So if I said it in first person, I would say that other people do not see me the way my mom did. Other people don't see me like a effing smart, ASS, lazy, B-I-T-C-H. That's not how other people see me. And it's very hard. It is very difficult to break that belief. Where you, but, but the unhealthiness is that where I, I've had the unhealthiness and where maybe you too struggle with this, maybe not, is that you take what your mom said and you basically put it in the mouths of everyone else in the world. And that's where it's wrong. Other people don't see you like that. It's not true. And so it's not true because she said a lie. Other people don't see you like that. And then again, we're down to the core things. So we need to identify what your mom said. If you have this problem like I do, you need to identify what you've believed about yourself as a result, the lie. You need to identify where you're projecting it onto others and where you think other people are seeing you the same way. And then you need to identify what's true. What is true about you? Are you still believing and operating out of what your mom said you were. So what you need to, to know is that, again, I'm talking to the people who have this problem. You may not have this problem, but I'm talking to the people who have had this issue where your mom said something to you that's not true. So what is true about you? You need to identify what you believe about yourself. Do you believe that what your mom said about you is true. Is it true? You tell me. So I have to tell myself that no, I'm not an effin, smart, ASS, lazy, B-I-T-C-H. That is not who I am. I, and, and, and so you identify that that's not true and you have to find a truth to replace it. You believe the truth about you. And so what I say to myself in response, just to give you uh, an example here, is that I'm a hard worker. I'm a hard worker. I'm a very, very hard worker. And that a hard worker is not lazy. So I hope that this helped you. I love talking about this stuff. If you have any questions or ideas for other like emotional life topics, um, give me ideas in the comments, but uh, I hope this helped you. I hope I explained it clearly um, and just say a blessing for my mom because these kind of things are kind of hard for her, but I love her and I think she did a good job and I'm thankful for her and I'm thankful for you.